Welcome back. Well, as the weather starts to turn cold, see you at home is looking to raise awareness and advocate for our friends without an address. Here to talk about their year-round services, we have Administrative Director Aletha Keith and Janine Keller with us. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. So this is the time of year where we think about giving back, uh, and it's especially important with the mission that you serve. Tell us a little bit about what See You at Home is all about for maybe people who haven't heard of it. Sure. So um, See You at Home, the mission of See You at Home is to um, engage the community to house and support uh, the most vulnerable homeless in our community. So um, we do that m through like a, several different ways. We have about six different branches of our ministry. We have a um, daytime drop-in center. We have transportation, um, housing, transitional houses. We have four transitional houses, um, street outreach, 24-hour street outreach, and then um, a work program and the men's emergency shelter. Sure. And so there are a lot of people that this reaches. Oh, yeah. And we also have the Phoenix uh, Daytime Drop-In Center right. uh, Drop -in for uh, pe folks without a home to come and, and, uh, and also community members. Uh, come and visit, play games, get Very to good. know each other, and during the time that they're there, they can get some help also. And how many people currently are being taken care of? Um, at the men's shelter, we've been having about 50, up, up to about 50, 52 women, or I'm sorry, men a night. Two men, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Phoenix Drop-In Center, um, it varies, but we have anywhere from like 20 to 60 people that come through each day. Sure. And the only reason that any of this works is because of volunteers, you know, Absolutely. donating their time. Mm -hmm. What's been your experience with that, Janine? Uh, it's been great, actually. Uh, I've I help uh, with the one winter night, the annual uh, mm -hmm. fundraiser, and then I go, hopefully, once a week to uh, the Phoenix, the drop-in center, and you get to meet people and you get to hear their stories and be encouraging and sometimes play cards or whatever. But you learn as much from uh, the folks as as you take and there's a lot of good volunteers that show up at different times and encourage each other. Very good and there's opportunities for more people to jump on board and help. Always, always more opportunities. Um, like you mentioned our annual um, One Winter Night event is coming up uh, February 7th mm -hmm. and there's uh, tons of volunteer opportunities from uh, set up the that day to tear down and clean up afterwards and then anything in between from um, registering box dwellers and helping with ho hospitality um, we provide like sure. food and drinks for all of our volunteers and box dwellers all night so so if anyone's interested in doing that then how can they jump on board uh, they can go to our website and sign up and that's at www .c, the letter C the letter U a T H O M E dot U S. So see you at home dot U S. Yeah. And one winter night, you know, it, it happens every year and it's a pretty powerful thing, right? It is. You know, to be challenged to sleep in a cardboard box overnight and uh, even the folks without a home will say, well, hey, we don't even have a cardboard box. So that's another good reason why the emergency overnight shelter is uh, very important. But yeah, challenge to. Um, Spend the, and it always turns off cold <laughs> and rainy, but you do have the hospitality center to come in and get warm. And uh, we have a great uh, video that explains more about the Phoenix and see you at home that people can watch and guest speakers that are informative throughout sure. the night. Yeah. And really, this is all about filling gaps in the community. See you at home does a lot of that. That's correct. Um, one of the one of the biggest gaps that we try to fill is um, just kind of that stigma surrounding the, the word homeless. Um, we refer to them as our friends without an address mm -hmm. to try to dissuade that kind of uh, negative connotation um, so that people feel more comfortable um, engaging with them either at the Phoenix or the shelter. Um, or in the community. Very good. And really just the bottom line is this is a great time of year to get involved. Yes. There are events coming up. And then, um, you know, what should people do if they're interested in helping out? Uh, they can give us a call. They can um, log in to our website and sign up. We have a um, sign up for volunteers on our website. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, right. So, yeah, we, we're looking for tons. Uh, yeah. 200 volunteers. We're looking for um, more box dwellers mm -hmm. to get involved. So... And it can be fun, too. You can kind of make it fun. Yeah. It's absolutely fun. We yes. have um, 
our uh, headquarters is open all night long with yep. speakers and entertainment and even some surprises this year. So Surprises? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, we will have to see what is in store. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Aletha and Janine, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.